hide the cube so we have enough room to work with our wine glass. Let's click on the eye to the top right corner to hide it. Let's proceed to add a new shape. Shift A and select UV sphere. Let's scale it with S to return. So we double the size. Let's switch to the right view by pressing three. And let's click on the move tool and using the blue arrow and holding the control key, we are going to drag it up. Let's right click on the shape and select Shade Smooth. Let's switch to Edit Mode by pressing Tab. Let's press B. Go to the top left corner and holding the left mouse button, we are going to create a box to select the top vertices. Let's press X as in X-ray to delete those vertices and we are going to select vertices from the pop-up menu. Select the bottom vertices with B once again. And now we need to scale it on the Z axis by zero. So we are going to press S, Z, zero, and return key. Notice that we have selected the bottom part and now it's flat. We need to extrude over the Z axis down. So let's press E to extrude and now let's move down and we can press Z to constrain the movement to the Z axis. Then let's move the mouse down and we are going to press S to scale it and now we move towards the center, and then click. Let's repeat this process. We are going to press E to extrude, and then we move down and click. Now let's press S and move toward the center, and then we click. Press E again, and now we move down, and then click, press S to scale it down, move toward the center, and then click. Notice that now it is much smaller. Let's extrude down by pressing E, Z, and moving down about three cells. Let's press E again and move down a little bit and click. We are going to move it up by holding the shift key and also holding the mouse wheel so that we can better see what is going on. Now let's press E again, and now we extrude down, click, and now press S and move away from the center to enlarge it. and click to confirm the action. Then let's press tab again to go to the object mode and now let's switch to the viewport shading. Now we have pretty much completed the wine glass. We just have to move it above ground. Let's switch to the right view by pressing three and then holding the control key and 
the left mouse button, we are going to drag the blue arrow up to complete the action. And now we have completed the wine glass.